I forgot that the Mystic Mod Dev was adding crazy fish to his world. Look at these things. What is this fish? It's a fucking clownfish. Are you serious? There's <laughs> What is going on guys? Riot here playing Ark Survival Evolved, checking out the Perlovia today. Perlovia? Perlovia. I believe it's Perlovia. This creature right here is a straight up game changer. This son of a bitch is going to change everything about everything. And unfortunately it's not entirely complete yet, so we can't test out all its abilities and everything. But we can talk about them and look at them through the example that is the creature placed in front of us. Now here, here she is, this beautiful beast. Now this creature towers over us for the most part, does it? It's, it's, dude, it's legit taller than us. Its back muscles are above us. And combined with like the massive structure that is its forearms and back legs, look at those beasts. Look at these digging claws. This creature's gonna rip the shit out of people. It's like you're gonna be finding a lot of lower intestines pulled out of buttholes around your server. Because this guy, this creature right here, I know it's a female, but I say guy just because I'm a sexist evil bastard according to Tumblr, but this creature can bury underground, which is the most insane mind-blowing thing ever because Nothing's ever been able to break barriers before an arc. This this invisible uh, this floor right here, which you can glitch through and go into the world, we haven't been able to, except for like sandworms, deathworms, but those are like, uh, the, them sons of bitches didn't exist anyway. So that's and plus that's in the desert. It's, those guys are in the desert. Digging through sand is one thing. These guys dig into dirt, into the soil. All right, buddy, let's get you following me. There's also another creature I want to take a look at, but this guy I just gotta have some fun with too. Gotta see. I know it's a female. Gotta see. It's its capabilities in combat. Unfortunately, I cannot view its inventory yet, so I cannot see your stats, but I can still see you perform your combat and skills. I cannot wait to see this thing bury underground. It's like, the whole thing about this creature is it just buries underground, and I guess it uses much less food and water when it's underground, so it doesn't need to constantly come up for creatures, or come up to, uh, freaking just refuel. Its metabolism just drastically slows down when it's underground, because it's not, it's rarely moving. And evolution has granted it that gift. Kick this dodo's ass! Beat the shit! Oh fuck! It's a fairy! Oh my god! Oh my god! There's a fairy chasing after me now. This, this, see this? This is a little bit of a bit of a turn right here. No one, oh, hell yeah, we're way faster than the fairies. Suck it, fairy! Jesus, that little pink dot back there was a legit fairy. So you got, you guys gotta, you guys, we just gotta get away from the fairies. The fairy's too damn powerful. Ooh, is that a Thursinosaurus? Perfect, right here. Bitch, get away from me! Hang on, where's my creature? All right, come on, chick, woman, get over here! You stupid bitch! Attack that raptor! There we go. Now we're cooking. You better wreck- Yeah, see, he's wrecking the crap out of that raptor. She, this- This thing, it's- It's basically just like freaking some kind of saber-toothed tiger. I re- I like- Obviously, it's nothing like a saber-toothed tiger. Completely different, like, creature trees, obviously. There's nothing in there. Um, they don't even look remotely the same. This guy clearly buries down underneath. You wrecked him! But, um, but what I mean by a saber-toothed tiger is just, like, the- the massive claws followed by giant arm and leg muscles. Like, this kind of creature would be able to rip a limb off so easy. A grizzly bear can rip one of your arms off like tissue paper. But it's not the quickest creature in the world. This son of a bitch is! And it buries down underneath. It looks like just a giant muskrat or something, and we just happen to be a mouse in its world, which is not something you want to be. Come on, Gord, just get over here. Did you just take fall damage, you dumb bitch? Alright, where's that Thurzine? He's stuck in the bushes over here. You big stupid turkey! We're having us a late Thanksgiving dinner. Where'd you go? Okay. So see, it doesn't swim yet. Still, are you taking a lot of damage right now just by walking around? What is the matter with you? See, that's another reason I was thinking saber tooth too. All because it has like it looks like it has saber teeth. Like look at that giant fang right there. That shit will just hook into you, ragdoll for days, man. I've seen dogs do it. I've seen my dog ragdoll another dog. It was the most insane thing I've ever seen. The other dog was starting way too much crap. He just grabbed it, gave him about three of these, and now he has a muzzle. He's a sweetheart. He's never had a single act up since, but just in case. So this- <gasps> Holy fuck, we need arc muzzles. Arc muzzles would be an amazing addition to the world. And it's something we would so clearly have because these creatures, even though domesticated, can still turn on you. Wild creatures can be domesticated for like 30 years. The, the year 31, they turn on your ass. Or they never turn on you at all. But that's what muzzles are for. Alright, you giant gargantuan stuck in a tree, bitch. Time to meet your maker! Get him! Oh my god, the size difference is dramatically upsetting. Oh, but you're getting wrecked, son, because you're a low level, aren't you? Level 4. That's what you get! That's what you get! Come around my neighborhood. No, you did, you did, you did, you did, you did. There we go. When I do the command, it just freezes the game because it doesn't have the- the arc devs have not animated that animation yet, or implemented that animation. But once it does head underground, you're just gonna be walking around, la da da, not a problem in the world, just probably upset as shit that Princess Leia passed away, and then all of a sudden, this fool's gonna hop out of the ground and rapidly attack you, and apparently have you dead before you even realize what's going on. 
What I'm thinking, though, is multiplayer servers, if you go hunting, the first son of a bitch to tame, like, 30 of these and then just have them all buried in the ground all over the place. Probably have some rock golems just buried there, too. Just cam everything just camouflaged. You're there, boulders, and you're under the ground. And you're just gonna walk up and get so damn overran with fangs and teeth. It's gonna be hilarious. A beta monkey? We only like alphas around here, girl. Whoop his eyes! I love his raccoon tail, too. It's just all around a beautiful creature. See, it's like... You look like a, a mongoose. An ancient mongoose. Not even a mongoose. He doesn't look anything like a mongoose. What the hell do you look like? I'm, like what, I'm remembering what mongooses look like. My friend has a mongoose. No, or does he have a muskrat? Son of a bitch! There's so many little random creatures that burrow around the place that I've never really thought of. See, this is what I'm talking about right here. Once you even have this amount of creatures just walking around with you, if they all bury down underground, it's gonna be hilarious. It's gonna be the best ambush ever. I'd have it so well planned, too. Not just these guys. You gotta have every little bit of ambush ammunition ready just to go... Just to go wreck these fools. Let's cross the river, because that fairy over there is terrifying. Don't mess with that shit. Fairies are crazy around here. Alright, boys. Come on. See, they can't swim yet, either. They just gradually sink now. Like, they are swimming, I guess. That's a thing. But they, they, they can't stay on the surface of the water. I wonder if that's a thing. I wonder if they're actually not, like... Because not every creature can swim. You know, a lot of creatures... Don't have that ability. Do you guys have any sort of webbed feet? They do not. I don't know about that. Plus their snouts sort of look like they would drown if they were in the water. Like that is not- I'm sorry. It's, it looks amazing for like sniffing around underground and like detecting prey and that sort of thing. But swimming, it looks like some water would get in there. Look at all these muskrats, dude. I can't wait to have like a huge ass pack of these. Just a bunch of babies. I swear to god, these things better lay like six babies each. Each run. Because look at them, they're just- They're just giant ass muskrats, dude. No complaints. These guys are awesome. Make sure to smack that like button, by the way, if you guys want more of these creature previews, like, before they're actually complete, because it's essentially complete, and it's in the Mystic Academy mod. It's the Mystic Academy mod dev that does all these amazing things for all the people of the ARC community. So if you want things early, you gotta smack that like button and you gotta download his mod. I know, it sounds spammy as shit, but it's, it's what you gotta do. I mean, the smack that like button part. The download part seems obvious. If you want content, you have to put it on your computer first. Alright, come on, you dingus. Get over here. I want to attack that Spino, but I don't want to see aquatic combat. You guys are going to get your asses kicked. You're cute and fluffy, but you can't swim. I could not help myself. Now we have to do a water battle, because I'm still excited about these guys right here. The Basilosaurus, Basilosaurus, however to pronunciate it correctly. So those things look weird as hell. Let's see what it would be like if new creatures of the land are combatants with new creatures of the water before any of them are even officially completed. That's what's so fun about this. Fuck them up! Get them, boys! I don't know why, I keep saying boys now, I've been watching a lot of Trailer Park Boys lately and everyone just says boys, just constantly. Okay, bit of a retard in the water I see, see that, that makes sense, if they can't swim in the water, why the hell would they be able to fight in the water? That was just not logically consistent, that one's my fault, <laughs> I messed up on that one. Alright boys, one of the biggest competitors on the island until it gets more, look at him just running in there. You fluffy adorable bastards, oh yeah, they're gonna wreck the shit out of that thing, there's so many of them. There's too many of them. They are they are very strong beasts, though. I like that. I'd say classified along with like freaking, pretty much the saber and the wolf. They're they're along that strength level, I'd say, because they they are just giant meaty freaking mammals that have vicious claws and deadly fangs and can tear things a new asshole. Really, all you need in life is to be able to tear things a new asshole, you know, or a really good college degree. But I don't see that in their future. I can't afford it. Alright, let's kick this Bronto's ass. If you can kick Bronto ass, then you've, you've, you've accomplished my test, because these are standard vanilla creatures. They're not modded, they don't have magical powers. Alright, there it is. There's thy ass. Full speeds ahead, gentlemen. Look at him just running in there. I feel like I'm watching Discovery Channel, and they're all just like running from a pack of lions. Or a herd of lions. Or a pride of lions. Jesus Christ, there's so many different... I forgot it's called a pride. I don't know who the asshole is coming up with all these different names for groups of animals. It makes it so much complicated. Like a group of crows is called a murder? Who the fuck thought of that one? What in Tom Selleck's ass am I looking at right now? Look at these fish! Look at these bright, pink, gorgeous, beautiful fish! I forgot that the Mystic Mod Dev was adding crazy fish to his world. Look at these things! What is this fish? It's a fucking clownfish! Are you serious? There's- <laughs> Oh my god, that's hilarious. Get it? Like Nemo? Nemo's a clownfish? Dude, that's so funny. I had no idea he even did that. He went legit at an actual clownfish to your world. That's too- that's- that's hilarious right there. I appreciate that kind of comedy. I'm so happy I just stumbled onto a clownfish. My day would not have been the same. What's going on, Mew? Mew just chilling on the beach. Mew does his own thing. 
Mew's about to die. All right, buddy. Mewtwo's better. Sorry, Mewtwo speaks English. Mew, you speak like a goddamn chipmunk. I'm sorry, it's just not gonna get you anywhere in life. Where is he? What are you guys stuck on? Oh, a fairy! Damn these fairies! Dude, I don't mean to sound homophobic, but I'm just, I'm just kidding. I couldn't, I couldn't resist saying the joke. I'm sorry. I have gay friends. I always have to say that because every comment section, a few people accuse me of something, and it's like, dude, you can't, can't we just make jokes? All right, but that fairy is beating the crap out of my people. Come on. Come on, get the fairy. This is starting to sound kind of politically incorrect, but that fairy needs to get its ass beat. Up next, we have the Ammonites. The Ammonites? Ammonites. This guy is badass. This, there's so many Pokemon modeled after this guy, specifically. Now, this creature cannot be tamed. He's just, he's basically just existent for his resources, because he's, like, rich with resources. You kill this guy! Dude, that is disgusting. I swear to God, he looks like a baby Cthulhu. Like, it's, the, the, inf the, the stuff is there. We can make a Cthulhu off this guy, I feel like. Just cut off the face and put it on, put it on some other creature. But just the tentacles. Just the horrible tentacles. That's the most important part. This guy, I love that he's crawling onto the beach right now, because he's really not supposed to be like this. He'll never be the shallow. This is very clearly a deep sea dweller, who's, like I said before, just overly harvested for his resources. But the thing about this guy, his bile, his poop, his poop is valuable. That's how you know you fucking made it right there. When your poop comes with a hefty price tag, you are successful. I don't care what anyone says. I'd pay so much money for some people's poop. But this guy, once you attack him, he alerts all creatures around him. You can't just go in there and like sneak at his resources. He's kind of a pain in the ass, really. Like there's like some sort of mystical connection between this creature and the others. They all just all of a sudden magically get over all of their differences and just, just team up to help this creature. It's almost like he was there. Well, I guess he was there before all of them. This creature right there. And it, I'm like horrible with anything dinosaur like freaking dating back related, but I know for a fact if it comes with this goddamn shell, that means it's like one of the oldest things ever. What did you do to me? He's pooped on me. What'd you do, you bastard? Is that what it is? They do this to you, and once you have that on you, then all creatures around just go completely aggro on you. That makes sense, man. So here we have some dodos. Some test dodos. What's going on, dodos? He squirts me with his crap. And they run away from me? Were they running away from me before? You're just horrible examples. It's kind of a difficult thing to test, because any creature I spawn in is gonna already attack me. It's supposed to be creatures that are necessarily ignoring you, not aware of your presence until they do that. And then it becomes a thing. Then you become number one bitch target right there. This guy is just damn slinky though. Look at those tentacles. It's so disgusting. And the most horrifying thing is the mouth at the end of these tentacles. It's like... It's a total little vagina-shaped hole that's just not meant for vagina-shaped purposes. And the fact that those two things share a shape just freaks me out. Like, nothing should be shaped like a vagina. It should be a private shape. But no, this, it ends up being a lot of these horrible sea creatures' mouths. And it's, it's goddamn terrifying, to be honest. I don't know what it is about it. But it's like, that's... You don't ruin your favorite thing with your least favorite thing. Animal mouths. Animal mouths is not my least favorite thing. It's, just, it's something I have going on in my head. I just have some blockage right there. Dude, that's gonna be so damn cool coming across a bunch of these because their swimming emotion is just great. Same with their eating emotion and everything too. I think they, because they can't, they can't be tamed. Look at them when they just like fill the water around you. I feel like I'm in Subnautica right now and there's just crab squids all over the place. God damn, I miss Subnautica. I miss crab squids. I miss a lot of things. I miss Carrie Fisher. But these guys, these, oh there it is. Now I can see your little weird mouth hole, you damn pervert fish. You can vaguely see it. I saw it a lot more in the dev kit when they are held still. So these are two more creatures you guys have to look forward to. One that ultimately just holds like the finest, rarest, richest resources, but alerts all creatures of your presence once you've attacked it, and they will all attack you. They'll all just gang up on you. Like in like Ark modded, you guys ever attack a pygmy monkey? Like in the overhaul mod? When you attack a pygmy monkey, every creature, even docile ones, rush attack you. Every stego, trike, bronto, they'll all just attack you. And it's a lot like this. It's basically the exact same thing. And then of course we have the Perlovia, which could bury underground and sneak attack people. All in all, these creatures are going to be so tits, I cannot wait. I cannot freaking wait. Same with the Basilosaurus, the giant fish monster we tried to attack like 10 minutes ago. That guy too. I can't wait. Alright, so there's some epic art creatures we have on the way. Some early access thing right there. If you guys want to play with them yourselves, download the Mystic Academy mod, because that's how I'm doing it. And um, yeah, if you had a good time watching, smack that like button, subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time. Peace! Yeah.